Today we're going to discuss how you can become a crypto and Bitcoin millionaire. There's really only two things you need in order to get this right. What we can see from other YouTubers and success stories we hear, many people get step one right but completely forget about step two. Don't get me wrong, it does take skill and money to succeed at step one. But without step two, you need larger profits in order to become a crypto and Bitcoin millionaire. Step one to become a Bitcoin or crypto millionaire is your investment strategy, okay? You should not be trading because you're trading, um, you're trying to capitalize on small gains. And if you're trying to capitalize on small gains, you need very large volume, okay? You need to trade with a lot of capital and most people don't have that, you know? Unless you're trading like millions and millions of dollars, um, it's going to take a long time. Even if you have 100K, it's not going to be easy because first of all, you're not going to be right every, every single time. And secondly, again, you are capitalizing on small gains, small profits. If we take a look at Bitcoin, I mean, you know, unless you bought Bitcoin at a very early time, you know, when it was like a few hundred dollars or even a thousand, two thousand, you know, yeah, you could have gotten like five or 10X during the 2017, 2018 bull run. And even if you had bought it at the lows of what, like the bear market that we had, you know, like 2018, late 2018, when it was three to four thousand dollars, and you would have held until this last peak, you know, yeah, you could have gotten like, you know, 10 to 20 X max, okay? But even with that, right, even if you purchased like 10,000 worth of Bitcoin, you know, I mean, you're not going to be able to time the peak exactly. So even with 10,000, you know, yeah, you could have turned it into like 100 or 200,000. If you had perfect timing, the perfect strategy, perfect entries and exits, right? But we're not living in a perfect world, okay? We need a bit of luck, of course, but um, we need also more capital. So you could have done pretty good with just 10,000, but if you had like 50 or 100,000, you could have become a Bitcoin millionaire this year it was definitely durable um, but unless you have that kind of money unless you have tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars it's gonna to be tough with just Bitcoin alone so right now um, if you believe that the pattern will repeat itself meaning Bitcoin will decline let's say 80 to 90 percent okay then you should wait with buying because we're just at about 50 to 53 percent right now which is still a little bit off in terms of entry levels that would be acceptable. But let's talk about some old coins, okay? Because that's where I think the money is. But you have to understand in order to become a crypto and Bitcoin millionaire, you need to do a couple of things, okay? You can't trade, like I said, it's about long-term or mid-term investing. So you need to hold it. You're prepared to hold it. The money that you have at stake needs to be invested for a year, two years, sometimes even longer than that. So unless you have that patience, um, do not invest like this because it is tough because you want to invest when sentiment is low when we're in a bear market because that's when everything is on sale but it's also when everything is negative okay when it's very difficult when you, there doesn't seem to be any possibility that a new bull run will start but that's usually the best time as we have seen already now twice that this is a good time when things are moving sideways when things have gone down the tubes and then they've been moving sideways for some time and, and have been in a steady decline, that is a good time to invest because you are able to buy cryptos at a very cheap price. Everyone's selling because every, everyone's giving up. And here we have Binance Coin, right? Now Binance Coin, um, let's just have a look, okay? If you don't know Binance, I mean, it's the largest crypto exchange. So if you had put in like, say, $17,000 Okay, you bought 10,000 Binance coins when the price was 17 bucks, okay? And I, I know that's quite a lot, right? 10,000 coins. I'm sorry, 1,000 coins, okay, would have costed you $17,000, right? And theoretically, um, you could have sold everything at 700, right? So you could have turned a $17,000 investment into $700,000. But we're not living in a perfect world because nobody knows how high a cryptocurrency will go during a certain bull run. So, but what you could have done, you could have sold it at different targets. So you could have sold, say, 20% when it reached $100, another 20% when it reached 250 
another 20% when it reached whatever, 500, okay? And then you have another 50% left. Maybe that's what you kept for the moon, the moonshot, right? So you could have turned that, I mean, a very decent investment into hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? So that was very, very possible. And some people did that because they invested when sentiment was low after the crash, you know, after the COVID crash, um, or even already earlier, you could have gotten it even cheaper, you know, late 2018 or 2019, you know, it was even cheaper. Here's another example, Balka Dot. I mean, with this coin, you could have not gotten 100x or not even 20x because, you know, the price started at three bucks, four bucks, and the peak was what, like 48 bucks, 50 bucks maybe? So at the most, it could have gotten like 10x, but 10x is not gonna make you rich unless you invest hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then there's examples like XRP, as you can see here on the chart. I mean, XRP had a really tough time because of the lawsuit and, you know, just a lot of really bad things going on for the company. So it was not easy, but um, didn't even reach the all time high. Certainly didn't surpass it, but even you could have bought it at maybe 20 cents, you know, and you could have sold it at a dollar, a dollar fifty, a dollar twenty. So yeah, you could have gotten like five X and you know, maybe seven and a half X and then at the very most ten X, right? So maybe an average of seven and a half X, right? But again, if you put in twenty thousand, what would that have gotten you? It would have gotten you maybe 160 grand, right? So in order for you to make a million dollars in profit, okay, you pretty much need fifty grand to a hundred grand unless you had some really small market cap coins and they explode, okay? And such an example was Binance. You know, if you would have put all your money in, you had like, a, I don't know, maybe 30, 40,000 bucks, you put all your money into Binance coin, boom, it could have worked. It could have worked for sure, right? And there's examples like Cardano, for instance, you know, the high was what, like $2.20 or something like that? Or close to 250 you know but again that coin you could have gotten it at like five five pennies you know five cents so you could have got like 20x easily on that easily so if you put in like 10,000 20x boom you would have gotten another 200,000 you know so the point is you want to spread it out because you don't know which coin will do well there's a lot of unexpected surprises in the cryptocurrency industry like lawsuits uh, shutdowns bad news um all, all kinds of things can happen all kinds of things can happen so you want to be diversified let's say you have 100 grand to invest okay and you want to play the old coin game because the old coin game is the best bet you can make you know you have just more coins available you have more options and you have a much better chance at making it big. Okay, so with a hundred grand, you can definitely become a millionaire. You can make a million or two million in the next crypto bull run. And let's say you have a hundred thousand dollars, okay, and you pick uh, 20 coins, okay, you put five thousand in each coin, okay, you research the coin, the coins. And I, I recommend having a look at coins that did well during the past two bull runs. If a coin exceeded the all time high again this time, you know, it's a chance it will do it again next time, you know. But you also want to put a little bit of money into coins that, you know, seem very promising. If it's a good project or if it's been very undervalued, you know. Sometimes you can bet on coins, you know, where it's like a safer bet and sometimes some more riskier ones. So you kind of balance out the risk. I think that's important as well. How to keep 100% of your crypto profits. And it's all about paying 0% taxes on your crypto gains. Now... This is something that's really important because in the United States, the short term capital gains tax is 10 to 37 percent, while the long term capital gains tax is zero to 20 percent. Even if you're a hodler and you sell your cryptos for a massive profit, you know, a few thousand percent profit within a 365 day period, it will fall into a very high tax bracket if you have a lot of profit. And you don't want to fall into that and give a majority, a big part of your money to the government. In Canada, you only include 50% of your capital gain in your taxable income. Now, each country is obviously different. But I think the biggest burden is 
for Americans that have to pay taxes on crypto gains. But don't worry, most countries tax their citizens, their residents on short-term and long-term crypto gains. So unless you're from a country that doesn't tax crypto profits at all, and you want to keep a majority of your crypto profits or all of them, you need to figure out a game plan. Here's one. You move to a country where you pay 0% taxes on your crypto profits. Doesn't matter if you make 100,000, if you make 10 million, okay? You're going to pay 0% taxes. And that makes a lot of sense if you have, again, large profits. Does it make a lot of sense to move to a country and do all this work and, you know, spend money that's involved, obviously, if you only make 20 to 50,000? Maybe not, you know, it's probably not worth it. But if you have a, a decent sized profit of say half a million or even millions of dollars, you want to look into this. Some crypto tax friendly countries in Europe include Portugal, Switzerland, Slovenia, and then also in Southeast Asia, we have Malaysia, Singapore. Those are countries where you can move to and pay no long-term capital gains tax. And in some instances, also don't pay any short-term capital gains tax. But what's really important here is to determine whether you want to move to a certain country, you know, because you know, you're going to spend some time there in order for you to qualify for this huge tax break, you need to live, reside in the country. So I recommend researching about the culture, the people, the scenery, the weather, like you want to have every, everything pretty much. So I recommend researching it, having a look at maybe three to five countries. Okay. Maybe take three countries. Okay. Uh, depending on what weather you like, depending on whatever you like, you know, three countries, it's a good start, I think. And you take a look at this before you go there. Okay. Unless you are someone that has already lived abroad. And if you don't have a problem going to certain places and moving there right away, I think it makes sense to take maybe a one week or two week vacation, go there, spend a little bit of time. Obviously you need to spend money as well, but at least you will have an idea of what it's like. Once you've visited the country and you like it, you're in love with it, and you cannot wait to pay 0% taxes on your crypto income, then it is time to start looking at some residence and citizenship options. There's a lot of countries that offer citizenship through investment programs. There's also countries that allow you to become a resident immediately if you meet certain criteria, like the purchase of a real estate property or you starting a business, there's going to be many options available. Another requirement may be for you to spend so and so many days in the country. Now, when is the right time for you to start looking for a crypto tax haven? Is the right time when you're about to sell or is the right time when, you know, not much is going on and you just made your investment and probably going to wait now half a year, a year before anything happens. I think the latter, when you're not even close to selling is the time to really consider where you would go. So it makes sense to already maybe visit some places, go there on vacation, check them out. If you're still in your home country and you sell there. Um, it's probably too late to go to another place and get residency or citizenship because you may still be forced to pay taxes back home because you've been a resident of your country and you spend a certain amount of days in your country and it may be more difficult than if you get that taken care of before you sell. That's my advice. Now, obviously it's going to be a lot easier if you have some money to invest, some money to play with and use that money to go to places to check them out. Then if you have nothing right now, if you put all your money in crypto, you have all your money invested and in, you know, you don't know how it's going to work out. So I think most of the time or often a, a lot of people that do this, you know, they already made some money with crypto and they're already familiar with the game. They already know what to do and they already have the plan in their mind. And so they go to this place and they set it up because they know they have already made money during the last two bull runs and there's a very high chance, if not a hundred percent chance that they will make money again. So in this case, it makes a lot of sense. The best time to set yourself up for the next bull run is while we are in a bear market, because you have time to consider, you have just a lot more available. There's no pressure. You don't need to worry about anything yet. You know, oh, I have to sell right now because if I don't sell right now, I'm not going to be able to capitalize on this. I'm really forced to sell. No, you're not going to have any of those thoughts because things are moving down, 
things are moving sideways and likely will continue to move sideways or go down for another half a year or maybe even a year or two years. So you have sufficient time and your mind is going to be clear and you can think what the right thing, the right step for you is. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to become a Bitcoin and crypto millionaire. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on alerts so you never miss any of my future crypto, nomadism and investing videos. If there's anything that you think I forgot to add or if you want to share a personal experience of yours, then leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.